What you guys got another video here for you on how to fix windows problems with this handy tool we're going to take a look at a piece of software which you can use uh, to fix windows problems these are common windows problems like malware adware or any sort of corruption with windows or maybe you want to back up uh, some files and stuff like that so that's what we're going to be doing in this video now this program is completely free to download it's a portable application it does get updated from time to time. So let's show you what it is. It's called Windows Repair Toolbox and uh, we're gonna take a look at it. So if you wanna download it, I'll leave the link in the video description. Come down to the bottom here where you see this black download button here and hit download. And then you can save this to uh, your desktop. Now, once you've got the tool downloaded, uh, you'll be able to see uh, there's a bunch of files inside here. And again, this is a portable app and uh, you can see there's an updater here which we're going to click on first just to make sure the software is fully updated and all the tools are fully updated so let's go ahead and uh, hit the update and accept the terms and conditions and then we can hit the uh, start button this will start to perform the loading sequence so just uh, be patient and this will then open up and we can then take a look at the program itself so who is this program designed for? I suppose it's designed for PC techs and also enthusiasts or people that just want to have a bunch of tools which you can uh, download and use at your own leisure. Now on the tools tab here, we've got hardware, useful tools, repairs, uh, backup and recovery, also windows and uninstallers. So you've got on the tools tab, you've got quite a few here that you can use. So CPU-Z, which is a useful tool, you can just hit the CPU Z button here. This will go ahead and pull that file down off the internet and download it and open it on your PC. Now this is using legitimate links to download these files from the source so they're all safe. And you can see here, this is what CPU Z is, pretty useful tool. Go back in here and we'll take a look at GPU Z, which is for your GPU. And you can download it from the source and say yes and basically it'll give you a bunch of settings which you can go through and install and then the program will open up and you can then uh, take a look at the GPU here very simple very useful tool now these are obviously tools built inside of a tool so that's what this tool is designed to do now if you use these tools on a regular basis which you would do as a PC tech then this is going to be really useful you've got memory diagnostics tools here disk information also stress test, battery information, and uh, loads of other bits and pieces on here. You've got some backup solutions here as well. Again, uh, you can add more if you wish yourself uh, on that little area at the top. I'll show you that in a second where it says custom tools. But on here, on the useful tools here, you've got some other bits and pieces like uh, Patch My PC and other tools like that. So let's just open up Patch My PC here. This will download it and open it and again this will allow you to patch the pc with all the latest updates and things like that as you can see here very useful and easy to do so we'll take that out and uh, we'll go for a couple of more in here just to show you so inside the repair section here you've got a bunch of decent applications here you've got uh, comp internet repair which is your internet repair you've got auto runs you've got frst free fixer you've got a bunch of useful tools which you can use to fix problems with your pc now auto runs is done by sys internals you can actually download this program by going to the manufacturer's website and downloading that program if you wish or you can use something like this and have it all under one hood and download them uninstallers are always useful to have especially things like revo uninstaller or ddu which is a display driver uninstaller, which is a very useful tool. Uh, you will have to do a reboot to get that installed. Got Java uninstaller and a bunch of other things here. Moving on to the malware removal tab, you can see we do have some areas which we can use here for malware removal. You've got MCSoft, you've got Microsoft, TDSS Killer, Rkill, all your usual programs which you would use to remove malware you can put ticks in here and run them and uh, run unattended or you could just do uh, singular uh, runs of applications of your choice you've got updaters here optimize and repair 
ADW cleaner. So let's click on this one and take a look. This is to remove adware from the system. And if you're running Windows 10, this is probably going to be the most common problem you're going to have, which is adware on the system. And ADW cleaner is one of the best at removing adware. We need to do it here. So I'm going to program up, update it, and then run a scan, and that will remove any sort of adware on the system. Again, you can update a bunch of other stuff on there as well. Pretty useful stuff. So let's have a look at Win Repair All in One. So that's Windows Repair All in One tool. So we're going to have a look at that and download it. And that's a 36 megabyte file. And this is an awesome program also for doing repairs and other types of things with Windows based operating systems. So let that just populate and open up. And you can use this tool to download uh, the tweaking.com Windows repair tool, which is a very useful tool to have. As you can see, open repairs and a bunch of other stuff on there which you can use. So as you can see, we've got a bunch of different repairs here which you can run. You don't have to run all of them. You can select up the top what you want to do. And again, you can run those repairs on your system. Malware cleanup and loads of other bits and pieces on there with the Windows repair tool. So that is the malware removal section. You've got a bunch of other stuff down the bottom here. Moving on to custom tools. This is where you can add in your own custom tools. You can see here there's one here, download and run uh, ESET online scanner. So we'll just give this a test, highlight this, and then all you need to do here is click on start, and this will then download that app, and you'll be able to then run ESET online scanner, and this will remove malware. This is a very good malware removal uh, scanning tool and again it can remove potentially unwanted uh, programs from the system as well and it's always good to run something like that so let's move on to the final tests here you've got a bunch of other checks you can do like quick check flash player java pdf word and excel and stuff like that just in case uh, they've been changed and you've got a bunch of other bits and pieces like the host there uh, internet speed test stress test and we've also got webcam test here and microphone test. And you can go into your notes section and write out some notes uh, that you may want to uh, take down. And there's also some other areas inside here, which is useful. We can print from here also. You've also got wireless key view from Neurosoft and also web browser uh, as well. Mail pass uh, view and product key, all from Neurosoft as well. You can uh, use those to insert images and other bunches of stuff here so if you want to click on this one if you've got a wireless key that you just want to reveal and basically get that notified inside here it will do so and this is useful if you want to take down some uh, notes of the system uh, like the product key and stuff like that before you start working on it so you've got uh, backups of that as well very useful stuff going into the settings here you can update all the tools here by clicking on update and again you can clear downloads from this section here and we've got some other bits and pieces uh, down here as well like cpu temperature ram all that sort of good stuff uh, unattended mode settings and you can take your branding and put your own logo on here if that's what you want to do as well back up and restore your branding and custom tools update here check for updates and reset and of course, we've got the about page, which is about the person who created it, which is Alex. And of course, he's got a support area there and also a donate button if you feel the need to donate because you're using this on a regular basis and you find it useful and you want to donate to him. You can do that also. So that is the Windows Repair Toolbox, a pretty feature packed piece of software where you can use this to download other types of software off the internet and install them onto the computer that you're working on. You can do a bunch of good stuff with this piece of software. Very, very useful uh, for PC repair techs, enthusiasts or hobbyists, or maybe uh, you just want to have a useful piece of software which you can use to download all of the software that you use on a regular basis. A very useful bit of kit. I'll leave the link in the video description if you're interested. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys. Stay safe out there, and uh, I shall see you again for another video tomorrow. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button 
and then hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.